Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Castlevania Season 2, Episode 1. Uh, so yeah, we are finally getting around to the new season of Netflix's Castlevania series. Um, I did react to Season 1, though I think that was on my old channel before it was terminated and all, so I, I don't think it exists anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I did react to it. And I did enjoy it. Uh, just as a quick recap to go over my thoughts. Um, the first season was four episodes long. This season is double that, eight episodes. And the first season centered around um, basically the start of everything. We saw how uh, Dracula fell in love with this woman, whose name I cannot think of at the moment. <laughs> um, and how when she was accused of witchcraft and burned at the stake by the church... Uh, Dracula got angry and punished the citizens for it. The citizens of that one uh, city speci specifically. And again, I can't remember all the names of everything, but he punished them. He basically sicked his demon hordes on them, uh, taking out all of uh, the city and all. So, uh, though some people at least escaped, most notably a priest who uh, set up in another city. Um, this priest was one of the basically two people solely behind uh, having Dracula's wife burned at the stake. Uh, in the current day, uh, Dracula's demons have ravaged uh, Wallachia, and everyone's kind of living in fear. We meet Trevor Belmont, who is the, um, the, the current generation of the Belmont family, uh, a disgraced family of vampire hunters who have been excommunicated from the church, and they are seen as, basically they're being blamed for everything that's going on, even though obviously it's not their fault, um, but they're being, uh, the blame is being pushed on them because of their excommunication, because they, it's basically, it's, it's easy to blame someone like them. So Trevor's kind of just living, doing his own thing kind of being a drunk and everything, uh, getting into bar fights. Um, but he comes upon this uh, th this locked-off town, and while there, he ends up helping the citizens, as well as some traveling... Uh, I, I want to call them monks. Um, but they're kind of in that same kind of uh, position. <laughs> um, and he helps them and everything, and he meets... Uh, down in the catacombs, this girl, who also I cannot remember her name right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll get I'll get accustomed to the names again. It's been a while since I saw it. I did watch it a little more recently, like a month or two ago, with someone's reactions. I don't even remember whose reactions it was, but <laughs> um, but yeah. So he goes down to the catacombs. He fights a cyclops. He saves uh, the one the girl, and um, he starts to help them. Starts to help the the town and everything but eventually he and the girl go back down into the catacombs and there they come across um alucard and alucard is the son of dracula um I, I definitely remember him from some of the games i've played i don't remember all of the story but yeah he's the son of dracula and uh dracula's human wife so he's he's a half breed he's half vampire not uh like his father who's a full vampire but he still has the vampiric powers, he's great with a sword, and he only appeared really, I think, in the last episode of uh, Season 1. Uh, the priest who had uh, come to that town from the old one, he ends up getting killed by a demon who uh, has one of the coolest lines in the series, let's be honest. Um, uh, the priest says something along the lines of, like, you're a demon, you, you can't you can't be in here. This is the house of God. And it's like, the demon's like, God does not reside here. And it's so badass. because, And it's true. Because let's be honest, this priest is not doing God's work. And I, I mentioned this, I, I remember mentioning this when I first reacted to this series. This kind of stuff, I mean, obviously, save for the supernatural shit, 
um, a lot of this kind of stuff with the churches really happened. Like, witch trials were a thing. And the church were behind, was behind them. I mean, hell, King James, the guy who uh, translated the Bible, you know, the King James Version and then the New King James Version, um, he had a huge hand in the witch trials in, uh, in Europe. And there's just a lot in terms of uh, Christianity that we look back on and we, we a lot of Christians don't even seem to understand how much horrible shit that we've done in the name of God. Christians don't realize that these days. The Crusades were absolutely evil. And Christians even today do horrible shit in the name of God. Christianity throughout all of history has had these horrible sides to it. And back in like the times that this would take place in, I forgot the exact years, but yeah, it's just like Christianity was messed up. Burning women at the stakes because they showed signs of intelligence and knowledge in science. That, that meant there were, they were witches and stuff. The church was just messed up. So it's just like that line was just always so cool to me. And, and because it's true, clearly. And it's just... It, it, I don't know. It, it's just the way it was delivered was really badass to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like... It's always bothered me when people proclaim to be followers of God and Christians and stuff, and they don't adhere to the Bible. It's like, how can they think doing this kind of shit is okay? If, if they're Christians, they there is no way they can excuse that kind of shit. But I'm not here to talk about that kind of stuff. That is a big theme with Castlevania, sure, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So, at the end of last season, we had our a team assembled. Trevor Belmont, Alucard, and the girl who practices magic. And so this is going to be our team who are who is going to fight Dracula. Now, here's some questions. Um, I'm not super familiar with the lore of the games and like how each one, where like each one takes place and all, and where certain characters appear in each one. Um, but if we have all of this, and if we're hopefully maybe going to confront Dracula in this season, will we also have characters like Death? Will we have the Medusa heads come in? And other such uh, creatures that are famous in the Castlevania series. Um, yeah, I, I don't fully know how it all connects to these specific characters. Because, um, like I said, I'm not super familiar with the lore of Castlevania. I've played a couple of the games, but like, I don't think I beat much of any of them. I, I just played some of them occasionally, and I... I enjoyed the concept of them more than anything um yeah i just never got around to like actually completing them and it's just uh so i, I don't know exactly where everything takes place i don't know if like death is in all of the games um i think he has to do with the simon belmont ones though because uh or at least i would assume so because i've seen death in various uh, images and stuff with Simon, plus he was in the Simon Belmont and Richter Belmont reveal trailer for Smash Bros. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. But either way, I would love to see some of these uh, classic uh, enemies return. And I don't even know if we're going to get the actual um, battle with Dracula here, because I think I heard that there was a third season already greenlit. Um, 
And from what I heard, the second season did really well, so you never know. And heck, they might end up taking this a route to where uh, things work out for now, but maybe like we'll see another Belmont in the future. Maybe we'll follow uh, another one, like uh, Simon or Richter. Again, I don't know exactly how the timeline works. I don't know which came first and all of that. Um, but you never know, right? Now, with the first season, with it only having been four episodes... Um, it didn't give a huge amount of time to flesh out all of the characters, um, especially anyone other than Trevor and Dracula. Let's be honest, Trevor and Dracula were the most fleshed out in season one, but other, even with them, they weren't super developed, uh, because you only had four episodes. Um, and then other characters, like the girl and Alucard, obviously didn't get much of anything because they were introduced later into the season. Um, which, again, isn't saying much because there's only four episodes. <laughs> um, so I, I'm hoping with eight episodes now and with these characters having been introduced, we get more to them. We find out more about them, like who they actually are as people, and more about their personalities and their character and stuff. Um, just a little bit more, you know? Um... But I have faith in the series. The first season was fantastic. I love the animation. I love the direction, the voice acting. All of it's pretty good. So yeah, we are only doing one episode today, um, mainly because uh, just the time and everything. I do have to go to the bar tonight for D&D. &D. And it's just like uh, I don't have really the time to get to more than one today. Uh, maybe we'll do more than one at a time in the future, but with only eight episodes, I don't really think we need to do more than one at a time. I mean, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, I am going to say right now, though, I'm actually going to unveil something like right now that I normally would wait to reveal until the end of the reaction series. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be reacting to after Castlevania. Yeah. Like I said, I don't normally do that. I usually wait till the end of the reaction series, like when I'm on the final episode. But I've decided it's like, I, I want to tell you guys now so you can look forward to it. And plus, it's something that, honestly, I've been asked about recently, so I just kind of want to uh, touch on. Um, so, following Castlevania Season 2, whenever that finishes, whenever I'm done with it, Again, I don't know, I might end up doing two episodes at a time one week. Um, I am going to be getting back to OKKO. OK yeah, it's uh, it's been a little bit of time. Not too long. But it's it's been en enough of time to where I think it's about time we get back to it. Because I've honestly been missing it. I really do enjoy OKKO, OK and I, I miss Shannon. Shannon's awesome. Um... But in all seriousness, it's like, I don't want it to become another Loud House where we wait eight months to get back to it. No. We're going to be getting back to it fairly soon. Um, whenever we finish Castlevania. Um, so yeah, that is the plan as of now. Um, we'll have to see where it goes from there. Um, and it most likely will be that. I doubt anything will change that much but yeah I you never know right so just giving you that early bit of information okay KL will be replacing Castlevania when it's done but it, more than likely unless this season is somehow really obnoxiously terrible you're still gonna have to wait quite a few weeks <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're just going to get into this now, because as I said, I do have to uh, get through this, because I do have to uh, go to the bar tonight for D&D. &D. I need to get ready for that. I need to shower. I need to shave. Uh, my facial hair is growing in. I hate that. I always hate when this shit grows in, but it's like, nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> just have to keep shaving it. Just have to keep getting rid of it. Um... Yeah, at least until I can get on HRT whenever that ends up being. But with the system that's in place for that shit now, it's like, ugh. <laughs> I 
that's not going to be easy. So many hoops to jump through. Um, but yeah, I got stuff to do, so let's just get it on with this. Um, let's stop the lollygagging. Uh, so when the screen faced to black, pause the reaction, or pause the redirect and go to the... Let me start this over, because I'm mixing myself up. When the screen fades to black, pause the redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts, and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. Okay, and we are back, and we will begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So, yeah, I was right. Uh, Peter Stormare is Godbrand. Um, yeah, you could kind of hear it. If I mean, if you've played or seen anyone play Until Dawn, or I guess maybe seen him in something else, um, then you could definitely hear it. Um, but, yeah, that's cool that they got him. Um, he, he's... he's I, I'm never going to not be able to hear the analyst, though, like, I'll be honest, that's, that's what I know him from, I don't really know him from anything else, but, I mean, hey, hopefully I'll lose myself in the character, and we'll see, um, but yeah, I'm hoping for a lot of, uh, great stuff this season, uh, this episode was a great way to kick things off, we're getting more development with Dracula, we're getting his generals, um, uh, starting to learn about them. We're also getting um, a little bit of Alucard development right off the bat. Uh, we see that he's definitely uh, definitely facing some demons of his own. <laughs> um, yeah, there was not too much that happened in this first episode in terms of like pushing the plot along, I'd say. Um, there was the bit of the recap showing like exactly what happened when they first took Lisa away. Um, and then, uh, we got a little bit with Dracula and his generals and some discussion there, getting to learn about them, um, seeing the cute zombie pug, <laughs> and, and then we got a little bit with, uh, with, uh, Team Belmont getting ready to head out, I guess, um, just kind of forming together. So, yeah, not it was basically just starting things off, kicking things off in a more uh, simple, reserved way to not, like, get things t going too fast, you know? They, they want to uh, take their time and pace it out properly, and I think that's going to help with this. Um, but yeah, there's, because it was like that, because it was so uh, simple for a first episode, and not, again, that's not a bad thing by any means, but because it was, it keeps it from really having a lot to discuss. There's not any big, amazing things that happened. Um, one thing I can say is that one of Dracula's generals, Hector, I think his name was, um, the one who is the Forge Master who brings the uh, the zombies back and everything, um, he showed almost a hesitation when pledging his loyalty to Dracula in the study and all. He almost showed like he was hesitant about a couple things. Like he wasn't completely uh, confident in what he was saying. And Dracula, at the same time, also seemed like he was just done. <laughs> like he was just done with humanity. Um, but he didn't dismiss humanity. He, even, he, he went straight out to acknowledge that uh, humans are intelligent. That humans can think. They're not just livestock. That they are intelligent, dangerous beings. And I, I like that as well. But it showed that he's definitely just kind of done. He doesn't want them to suffer anything necessarily. He just wants them gone. He's, just, he, he's kind of gone from being angry from when he was originally uh, vengeful towards the church and Lakey and all. Um, but now he's just, he just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> he, he just does not care. He just, uh, he just wants them gone. He, he doesn't care if they suffer or not. He, it, it doesn't matter to him. He's kind of entered this, like, depressive state, and it's, it's interesting to see that. Um, 
but yeah, we saw that the uh, I found a, I I was reminded that they're called speakers. So we saw the speakers heading out. Um, but the girl whose name I also just I, I forgot again. Um, she's sticking, of course, with Trevor and Alucard. Um, so yeah. There's just not a lot to talk about. I'm trying to stretch this out as much as I can, but this first episode, again, it was very simple, it was very basic, it was very straightforward. There's just not a lot to discuss. I do like how we saw the priest's, uh, corpse mixed in with the, uh, corpses that were brought back to the forge. So I wonder, if this one guy is bringing back the dead, are we? is the priest going to be brought back from the dead and become a servant of Dracula? That would be so beautifully ironic. That would be so beautifully ironic. <laughs> um, I, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we will have to see. Um, but yeah, I don't really know where it's going to go from here. Because I don't think they're going to go after Dracula right away. I think they're going to want to prepare for all of that. I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah. <laughs> And I don't know how exactly the generals are going to come in. Are they going to have to fight all the generals before they can get to Dracula? Or is it going to go in a different route? Well, we'll find out. Um, while I was looking up the voices and all, though, um, just to make sure, like for Peter Stormare especially, I also checked my Facebook. Apparently, I don't now have D&D &D tonight. Um, my dungeon master had to cancel because of illness in the family which is understandable but it's like i was so worried about getting this out on time i mean i'm still gonna go for the regular game night stuff but yeah i guess we just don't have uh we just don't have D, &D tonight um so i'm still gonna be going though um yeah <laughs> uh but yeah so i really enjoyed this first episode I really wish I didn't have to feel like I was rushing through a lot of it. Um, like I, 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 I didn't like the the my pre thoughts and everything, and then my reaction. It didn't feel like I was. I mean, I definitely didn't like rush through. I didn't try to keep it super super short, but I felt like I had such little time. And again, I'm still going, but I'm not as strapped for time as I thought I was going to be. So yeah. Uh, we'll see where it goes. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but tell me in the comments below what you thought of this first episode of Castlevania Season 2. What did you think of the development we got for certain characters, and what did you think about where this seems to be taking things? Um, tell me your thoughts on all of that and more in the comments below, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time. And though you've come through many obstacles, shed tears along the way, you're still standing, live well, loud.